Now we are in a unique place in the west part of Belarus, in a small village of Seluk. This place keeps here a wonderful story connected with Ireland. In the second half of the 18th century, by the will of the difficult destiny of exile, the descendants of the famous Irish family of the O'Rourke settled here. The very O'Rourkes were representatives of the royal Irish dynasty, which started its origin from King Arthur Thins, the 11th century. Now we'll take a walk forward and see a place of the family cradle, a family manor, where more than one generation of the counts of the Oruks used to live. Unfortunately, now, as you can see, of the former house, only the foundation has been left. The devastating times of the communist regime were the reason for this. On these lands, the family of the O'Rourke's took fame by their honesty, benevolence, intelligence, responsiveness to someone else's misfortune and by mercy. And this is not able to be forgotten by people. Just tell you a touching story which has been reminded by the locals. In a large peasant family of eight children a cow dead, they came to the count to find some help from him. And what was their astonishment when Count Edward Torurk brought one of his own cows and gave it to the poor peasant family. The family burst into tears of the kindness of the large Irish heart. And when the countess died to her gratitude and respect, the common villagers laid the way to her burial place, to the family crypt by the pieces of cloth. The kindness was not forgotten. Having heard these and similar stories, I, as a rector priest, was touched and together with the villagers, we thought the kindness cannot be forgotten. In order the story of this noble Irish to be left not only in our hearts, but to be known by the future generations, let me reconstruct the O'Rourke's family manor, which will remind of the benevolence of the great Irish. Let me convert this place into the center of the Irish culture in Belarus and the whole Eastern Europe. Let we together create a part of Ireland here in Belarus, which will remind to the mankind that the kindness has no borders.